let's look at neutralization problems. And here's an example of a neutralization problem. It says what volume of 0.1 molar nitric acid is needed to neutralize 125 milliliters of 0.05 molarity potassium hydroxide. And as I read that, and hopefully as you read it, you recognize that this is just a stoichiometry problem. And so essentially in these problems, we are just going to meld together some things we learned in the first semester with this new stoichiometry problems that use solutions in this uh, chapter. So this is an acid, and this is a base. And we remember that if we take an acid like nitric acid, and we react it with a base like potassium hydroxide, that one of the products is always water. H2O is a symbol for uh, the formula for water, not anything else. And then we get a salt that consists of the front of the base and the back of the acid. We should check to make sure that's balanced, and I think you'll find that it is balanced. All right, so we have written and balanced an equation, first part of the stoichiometry problem. So next is to change the given into moles. We are given 125 milliliters of 0 0.05 molar KOH. So we are going to then use the definition of molarity, or perhaps we can just use mathematics. And since there's an of between those, we should recognize we'll multiply them together. I'm gonna, on this problem, I'm going to convert everything back to standard units. So instead of 125 milliliters, let's put 0.125 liters times, and this is 0 0.05. Molarity, remember, is moles per liter, and that's of KOH. So the liters will cancel out. And when we do the math, we will find that we get, uh, if I can find it on my paper, 0 0.00625 moles of KOH. OK, so next step will be to use the mole ratio from the balanced equation. So we'll take that number, 0 0.00625 two five moles of KOH times, and we're going to use a mole ratio from the balanced equation. Well, on the bottom goes KOH. There is that one in front of KOH, so it's one mole of KOH. And on top, we are looking for HNO3, so there is a one in front of that. Oops, sorry, one mole of HNO3. So this is going to make the moles of KOH cancel out like that. And that's not going to change anything except the substance. So we have 0 0.00625 moles of HNO3. I'm going to move this out of my way over there. And so now we have moles of HNO3. The question says, what volume of 0.1 molar? Um, so we may recognize if we rearrange the molarity equation. So if we do this, we need to divide by the molarity. So here's what I'm going to do. 0.1. Molarity is moles per liter. So what I did is I flipped the liters up on top when I divided by the fraction. So moles of HNO3 will cancel out moles of HNO3. And so when I divide that by 0.1, I'm going to get 0.0. .0 six to five and that's now in liters and when I move the decimal point over three one two three I get sixty two point five milliliters so there's our answer to that problem okay uh, that's one neutralization problem thought I'd go ahead and do a second neutralization problem so if you like I mean, if you've got that down that's fine you can stop there otherwise let's go on to a second neutralization problem. But before I do that, let me point something out. Some people may tell you there's a shortcut you can take in a neutralization problem. But if it's a stoichiometry problem, and we haven't been taking shortcuts in stoichiometry problems, let's not take any shortcuts here. It's a stoichiometry problem. It requires the four things we normally do to balance an equation, to change to moles, use the mole ratio, and then finally find what we're asked for. Okay, so a second neutralization problem. It's going to make this video a little long, but we can break it up in two segments. 
What is the concentration and molarity of a sulfuric acid solution of 35.7 milliliters of 0.125 molar NaOH solution is needed to completely neutralize 22.6 milliliters of it? So again, we have to write and balance an equation. It's an acid-base reaction again, H2SO4 plus NaOH. The product's always water. And then we put together the front of the base, Na, and the back of the acid, SO4. You may recognize that it says sodium is plus 1, and this is minus 2, that this Na2SO4. Well, when it's Na2SO4, that's thrown our balancing off. So if we go back and balance it, we'll find we need 2 NaOH, and we will get 2 waters. If you need to pause at this point and check to make sure that's right, please do so. Otherwise, let's go ahead. Uh, we have this given 35.7 milliliters of 0.125 molar NaOH. They are multiplied together. And let's do this one with the millimole method. 35.7 milliliters times, I don't have, I'm not changing the units, I'm going to keep it in milliliters, times 0.125. And instead of moles per liter, I'm going to say millimoles per milliliter. So now the milliliters cancel out. And when we do that math, we are going to find that this is 4.46 millimoles. And the substance here, and I was sloppy and I didn't put that down, is NaOH. Alright, so there is the number of moles of given. So 4.46 millimoles of NaOH. Alright, and the mole ratio. NaOH is going to go on the bottom. The number here is 2, so 2 goes down here, and that's 2 millimoles of NaOH. And on the top goes what we're trying to find, which is H2SO4. There's a 1 in front of that, so 1 mole, and that's, I'm sorry, the millimoles of H2SO4. So when I do that math, the units again are going to cancel out. This is going to cancel out that. So this is just division by 2, which will give me 2.2. 3 millimoles of H2SO4. All right, so then the last step is to change what we're, to what we're asked for. We are asked, what's the concentration in molarity? So that's going to take 2.23 millimoles of H2SO4. And concentration is moles per liter. So we're just going to take this number of millimoles and divided by a number of milliliters, and that number of milliliters is located right here, 22.6. So it's millimoles over milliliters, which is the same as moles per liter. So when we do that division, I did not do that division on my calculator, so let me do it here real quick. It's 2.23 divided by 22.6, and that comes out to be 0.0987. So this is 0 0.0987. Sorry, let me fix that. Seven in the units here. It's millimoles per milliliter, so that's big M H2 SO4. Let's put a box around that, but let's kind of think about and check to see if that makes sense here. The concentration of the NaOH was 0.125, and the, and the amount we used was 35.7, so it takes only 22.6 milliliters of this. Hmm. So 0.0987 molarity is the answer.